what is going on homies it's your boy stumped back from the optc video and in today's video whopping into the pirate alliance kazuna clash against Invinkov, testing the teams that we did put together in our preparation video uh pretty much like less than a day ago we're gonna be testing the free-to-play teams we're gonna be testing the uh big ticket team and we're also gonna be testing the one team completes all against all the variations of Invinkov in today's video but there is something to note before we jump into this particular uh event and we do jump into the video I do want to make this apparent to most people because this is a bit of an issue. One sec. All right, so we're over here at the Kazuna boxes, and I do want to make this apparent to most people. Just be very, very careful when you guys are moving on from boxes because as you guys will see here, we have a lot of skulls and we have a lot of crystals. Because of the sync or the merge of content, there are a lot of crystals, like a lot of crystals, a lot of skulls, and a lot of crystal chests to actually pick up a lot of goodies moving forward. Now, as you can see, though, the box limits have sort of increased. I think they've increased a little bit. Uh, yeah, they've kind of increased a little bit. Nothing too drastic, which isn't terrible. But just be careful, because what, ha what happens is, is it says that, would you like to move on to the next box? And say no, because, like, you want to double-check all this. You want to make sure you're getting all of these crystal chests, and then you can move on. Normally, I like to get pretty much, like, everything in this box. I like to get the rainbow gem. I like to get the insignias. For when I need them, uh, as well as sort of picking up all of the crystal stuff. Now, once you hit box seven, though, um, there pretty much isn't anything, right? Like, you've got everything from here. Once you hit box seven, though, uh, I think I did read there is, yeah, the crystal crimson skull for Jack. There's the crimson skull for the Creed pirates, as well as, um, is Big Mom's here? So, it kind of sucks that in box seven, there is the skulls, especially for Kriegs is the big one. Now, if you guys were like me, uh, picking up the skulls for Jack and the skull for uh, Olin was actually a little bit tricky. And the fact that we now have the crystal skull for Jack, Legend Jack, I'm pretty sure that is, six star uh, plus Jack, as well as the Krieg, it's just a little bit of a dog move to actually make us have to go to like box seven and some as you don't get to pick them all up before there along the way it just it should be like capped out at box six but look that's just me a little bit of a gripe within myself uh, i'm still a bit salty because like i didn't get olin and i didn't get jack but something to note is is if you actually go into the kazuna shop you guys will see that olin and jack's skulls are actually available right now so if you guys didn't finish them like myself pick them up because they're both very, very strong free-to-play units. And hopefully you guys can finish off the Krieg as well. But I just want to make that apparent to everyone. What I would highly recommend doing is the Suicide Strat. If you guys don't know what the Suicide Strat is, basically hop in with your high-boosted team. Just bring any team that has buggy. If you have Invikov, bring Invikov. Not Invikov. Um, what's his name? Bonkai. With a friend Bonkai, jump in, leave the quest, request an assist, and stay on top of your uh, assist every 15 minutes. So that way, your friends can get enough tickets to actually pop all those boxes to get access to the Krieg Skulls. So, hopefully you guys have uh, picked up your Big Mom Skulls, your Jack Skulls, if you didn't already. I know I have. I've uh, w already awakened them or evolved them. And uh, they're very, very good units. So, just make sure you guys uh, get on top of that. But with that said, let's dive into the runs. Alright, so we're starting over here with the Dex variation. And this is the free-to-play team that we did put together in the prep video. So, that's the team. There aren't actually any supports. You could probably just put stats, I guess. Like, you don't really need anything else. The only thing that you need for this to actually function is to bring a friend Captain VV. Bringing a friend Captain VV just helps out significantly because her Captain ability just gets around the special blind. It's just, it's so nice it, and it helps so damn much. On the first turn, we're just going to take out those turtles. Our, I think it's a free spirit, cerebrals, and something get cooldowns. I missed it. But this whole team gets cooldowns. That's basically the way it works. We have the Despair removal with Dogstorm once we get past level 30. We have a chain lock with Cavendish. We have Buggy for like matching orbs and extra tickets. And then we've got Jinbei for color affinity. On the second turn against Bon Clay, you can actually use the VV special here because Buggy rotates unfavorable slots and block orbs. And VV gives you a full bottle of orbs, which she locks. You can actually just use her special here. You can also use the super typing on this particular team and just easily take out Bon Clay because we have an attack booster thanks to Marco and Ace on the next turn anyway. So you can just like get more damage. Like you don't need the super type on the final stage. It's a just 
it just helps out here because the attack boost from Ace and Marco is a lot better. On the final stage against Imikov, you get your left-handed sided uh, special blinded. So that's why bringing Vivi is so good because Vivi just gets around that. We have an attack boost with Marco and Ace, as I mentioned. We have the orb boost with Vivi for strength, free spirit, and cerebral characters. We get a full board of orbs with Buggy. We remove the despair with um, Dogstorm after level 30. We have a chain lock with Cavendish, color affinity with Jinbei, and it all works just very, very nicely. This team has quite decent damage. It's it's not gonna like work forever, but as you guys will see here, like it, it, it does some pretty good numbers. So that's the uh, free to play strength team taking on the Dex variation. Let's move on to the ticket team now. Alright, so moving on to the ticket team against the Dex variation. This is the team, those are the supports. Let's dive in. Now, if you guys don't have your own bond clay. That's fine. As long as you're bringing a friend and the free-to-play buggy, that's sort of the best way to get the most amount of tickets. But if you have Bond Clay, bring Bond Clay. If you guys don't have Bond Clay, you can easily just replace him with any other strength character that is going to get their specials charged. I don't really think there's any other like character you could bring on this team to give it more damage. Maybe the Kuja Pirates. If you brought the Kuja Pirates, that can give you a guaranteed conditional boost. And then like move like Kuja under Sugar, move Buggy across. And that way, like, all the back-ended damage is just going to do a lot. Because this particular team does rely on chain boundaries with stuff like um, the boost from Brook as well as the shenanigans with Sugar. I guess you could bring something like Verse Ace on the team for a chain boundary effect. That could also work well as he's a free spirit character. And that way, you could probably get a little bit more damage out as well. But if you do have Bond Clay, as I mentioned, bring Bond Clay because it's going to give you a lot more points. As you can see on this variation, Vivi just, Vivi just destroys this stage. Like, she just covers everything. She has super typing, gives you an attack. Her special gives you an orb. She gets a, gives you a full board of orbs. Buggy rotates those unfavorable slots. You get a chain bust with Brook, and he removes the despair. Uh, we have color affinity with the Bond Clay unit. Whether you use the friend captain or yours, it doesn't really matter. And then Sugar just turns everyone to bears, and uh, the bears go burr. So that was um, the high ticket team. It's going to work for a fairly long time. Like I don't see it having too many issues uh, moving forward, especially with just a basic Kazuna. Let's move on to the one team beating all against the Dex variation now. All right, so the one team that beats all against Dex, the team looks a little bit like this. Now, as I mentioned in the prep video, you can tweak this team a little bit. You can actually utilize Arlong Crew over Nami and Robin. That will actually work fine. You can you can definitely use those characters, uh, that or that dual unit character, to actually get around the special reverse. I feel like you could probably use Zoro as well. The Dex Zoro, I think, should work. As um, that deck Zoro gives two turns of cooldown. And as you guys saw, you could even use Okiku. As Okiku actually gets around Bind and Paralysis as well. Which is really, really nice. Because to get around Paralysis on this particular team, I am using the Mr. One support. You could use like um, Bato on a Robin unit. You could also use something like... If you guys don't have uh, Bond Clay, you could use Nami and Robin. That's another option. But I feel like most people aren't actually going to have Robin and Jinbei. I got very lucky and I actually pulled them on my free multi, um, which I was very, very happy about because they are just such a busted sub and they're, they're going to be so good moving forward. But um, if you guys don't have them, don't stress. Like I said, you can use something like Arlon Crew for the two turns of reverse. Their five star actually works really, really well because they're a fighter character. You can also use something like the Zoro and or, and or you can use something like a Kiku. The, what's it called? The uh, Arlon Crew five star pirates does work a little bit best better because they're actually an attack booster as well but okiku's actually going to give you the uh ability to activate the super typing of vivi which means you can actually get her attack boost as well so as a direct replacement okiku's probably your best option but we'll talk about that once we get there let's move on to the next color now which is actually uh is it is it quick no sai all right, so on to Sai now. The free-to-play team utilizes a free-to-play Raiju with a legend Raiju friend captain. So that's the team. Those are the supports. Let's dive in now. That Shiryu support is actually not essential. You don't actually need it because we're bringing a friend captain Raiju. But I actually made a little bit of a blunder with this particular team as I actually used the Neptune special on turn one thinking I had the super typing of Raiju on the final stage, but I actually didn't. So just be mindful to hang on to that uh, Neptune support special. So that way you actually have an orb boost on the final stage. Um, I, I just, I got a little bit cocky and was like, oh, I have Raiju super typing, it'll be fine. But because this is only like level two or something like that, we can get around it. But on stage two, Bond Clay actually poisons us as well as gives us poison sockets. So Raiju can auto trigger her special. That's actually going to give you an attack boost. 
and rotate all those orbs into matching. Bond Clay has an orb barrier for two int uh, orbs. So the fact we're running a full int team helps out drastically here. You can pop the Neptune special on this turn as well to get an orb boost and carry that into the next turn. And that way you can just easily take out Bond Clay. On the final stage, you do need to be careful here because if you actually use the free-to-play Raiju and then the friend captain Raiju, you'll actually remove the poison. So I'm going to fast forward. Because I actually made that blunder, I realized that I didn't have the poison, which means I couldn't get around the resilience. So just be mindful of that. Ideally, you want to use the friend captain Raiju special first. But you, like, honestly, you don't even need the friend captain Raiju special because you have the carrier of the attack boost from the previous turn anyway. But look, it's just something to note. We do get a full lot of block orbs in this final stage. Raiju can take care of that. Boggy can take care of that. Both of them work fine. Croc gives us color affinity. We would have an orb boost with Neptune. And then we actually have uh, a chain lock with uh, page one. What you can do is like if you hang on to all of your specials, you could pop all your specials on this stage as well as you saw I did. And that way you get a higher chain lock with page one as well. But look, in the early stages, it's not going to matter. The team has fairly decent damage and gets around all the defects pretty nicely. Let's move on to the ticket team now. All right, onto the big ticket team against Psy. We are using a mono fighter team. I never thought I'd say that, but look, that's the team. Those are the supports. Let's dive in. So the team is led by Lucci, my boy, Rob Lucci. Now, if you guys were lucky enough to summon Ru uh, Lucci, Lucci, he is very, very good as a fighter leader. If you don't have Lucci, you can bring like another free spirit character maybe as a captain. This team is free spirit as well as fighter, which is actually pretty cool besides Lucci. Um, so you could easily just use something like Verse Ace as the captain. Like, that, that'll that work fine as well. Lucci's an orb booster, but he also gives base stats, which is really, really nice. But you could just get the chain boundary and orb boost thanks to our boy um, Verse Ace anyway. Now, I have no idea why I used the one clay special there. Like, I think I just, like, space cadet moded, but look, it is what it is. On the croc stage, he's going to poison us. He has two int orb barrier as well as giving us poison orbs. Thanks to the Shiryu support, as you guys will see there. We can not only give ourselves a full board of orbs, but remove the poison, which means our ink characters get orbs, which means we can break that barrier and we can say goodbye to Mr. Zero Crocodilus. Moving on to the final stage against Mr. Invenkov, Mr. Kamakama. He's going to give us a full board of block orbs, which Buggy can rotate. And he has five turns of resilience. After level 30, he... What does he do after level 30? I think he gives like six turns of resilience, maybe. And I think he maybe puts up I actually can't remember what else he does after level 30, but I, I don't think it's that drastic. So I don't think it's that big of an issue. So we can rotate the block orbs with our Luffy character. As I mentioned with the um, previous variation, if you don't have Bond Clay, you could easily just replace him. And if you guys don't have Luchi, you could probably even use Bonnie as your captain as well. That should work fine. But as you can see, this team has quite good damage and should work for quite a while. Let's move on to that one team beats all against Sino. And the one team that beats all against Sai obviously looks a little bit like this if you guys watched the start of the video. It obviously hasn't changed, but I'm not really going to talk about the content per se with this particular team. I'm just going to talk about the actual team itself and what changes you guys can make. Now, if you guys don't have Bond Clay, another really good unit for this particular team is actually just you bringing someone that can root paralysis. So bringing something like Nami, uh, the uh, Nami and Robin unit works really, really well. Um... And if you guys were like listening with the replacement for Robin and Jinbei, you can easily bring um, Okiku. The downside to bringing something like Okiku and having Bond Clay is you are missing another int character. Without having two int characters, it, it does make the int or barrier on this particular stage a little bit tricky. So if you guys don't have Bond Clay, which I, I feel like most people like don't, because he was quite hard to pull on the uh, actual Kazuna Suga Fest. And like I said earlier, I do believe that a lot of people probably don't have Nami and Robin as well. So what you could do is you could use Okiku and then bring something like Nami and Robin and start them in their dex variation. That way, when you get to this particular stage on turn one, when you are versing this variant, you want to just switch. So that way you actually have the int variation of Nami and Robin available. The reason you want to start as Nami is because on that uh, dex vary or some the, the I think it's is it the dex variation? Well, actually, if you're using Okiku, it's not going to matter because Okiku can remove the paralysis. So I guess you could just start as Robin every time, and then that way you actually don't have to worry about switching or like focusing on the switch because Okiku is just going to cover that paralysis for you anyway. So, um, 
other than that, as long as you just bring any other int character, it will work absolutely hunky-dory. But the big downside to this particular one team that beats all is that two turns of special reverse. Now, another option is bringing something like Verse Ace as your captain, as long as you have some way of getting around the special bind. And that kind of means that you have to bring a Bond Clay on the team somewhere, or use your left character's specials on the turn before. That way, you will just have your right-hand characters ready to go. Provided you only need your right-hand characters on the previous stage, you can do something like that. But it does go up to six turns of uh, Special Bind. So utilizing Bond Clay on the first turn, then having like Buggy and whoever else you need on the left, or sorry, the right, to get around that Despair should work fairly nicely. But that was the side one team that beats all. Let's move on to the final variation now against Strength. Moving on to the final variation now, we're coming up against the Strength variation of Ivankov. So this is the free-to-play team I did put together. That's the team, those are the supports. So let's dive in. Now, this particular team or this particular variation is the one that most people are going to struggle with because on stage two, you actually get special reversed, which is a little bit annoying. But bringing a friend captain versus ace just helps out drastically on the stage against Jinbei as you can just easily get around it just with your captain, which is really, really handy. Thanks to versus ace, we don't have to worry about that. And then we can use the Kuja Pirates as our captain to get an attack boost as well as a conditional boost. Now, if there was a way to give Kuja Pirates a strength orb, this team would function a little bit nicer, but you will get lucky every now and again, kind of like what you see in this particular run. But once we hit the stage two against Jinbei, he is going to special reverse our Sailors and give us the good barrier for two good hits to avoid the special reverse. You can use Okiku, I guess. Like, she can remove Paralysis on the final stage as well, um, as well as Bind. So I guess you could use Okiku just to get around that anyway. As you guys will see here, like, we didn't need to use a special to get around that, so I guess you could bring another character that's not Verse Ace as your captain, but, like, he just makes life so much easier. His whole team's free spirit as well, and he just works really, really nicely uh, as an orb booster as well as a chain boundary effect if you can get the strength orb on Boa like you see here. But on the final stage against Ivankov, he has five turns of threshold, and he binds our top and bottom row. I actually don't have full sockets, so Buggy doesn't remove all of the bind. But lucky for us, I do have Okiku here to remove the paralysis after level 30. Funny enough, she actually removes Bind as well, so she's really, really nice. She also gives two turns of cooldown with her double special activation, so there's also that option for you, which uh, it, it just helps out a lot. Once you hit level 30, though, the threshold turns into a six-turn threshold, so just be mindful of that. You will have to replace something like the uh, Helmeppo unit with something like the Sea Monster, just to remove a little bit more threshold. You will lose the color affinity buff, which kind of sucks because this team does struggle a little bit for damage as there isn't a lot of color affinity boosters on this particular team. I guess you could bring like a quick unit. Uh, I don't know how many quick free spirit characters give you an orb buff. So if there is, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, otherwise, I guess you could just uh, bring the sea monster for your orb boost and then bring like a last tap Luffy for more damage with these Unga Bunga effects. But that was the free to play team against the... Strength variation, let's move on to the Ticket team now. Alright, so the big Ticket team against the Strength variation utilizes Verse Ace with a friend, Bond Clay. Now, Ace is obviously not a quick unit, but he has that special reverse mechanic, as I mentioned earlier, which makes him very, very nice for this particular fight. So that was the team. Those are the supports. Let's dive in. Now, Law on this particular team is like one that you definitely can change. And if you don't have the Mr. 3 support, you can easily use like a VV support. Any way that Ace can get an orb on the final stage actually just helps out a lot. And the Mr. 3 support is awesome for Kazuna because there are only three stages. If you don't have Law, as I mentioned, don't stress. You can easily just replace Law. Uh, if you have Bond Clay, probably use Bond Clay for a little while. But Law is a chain booster. And with the chain boundary that Ace can provide, it just, it just gives you guys a little bit more damage. We have Color Affinity with our Bond Clay unit. We can get around the special rewind on stage 2 thanks to Ace's captain ability against Jinbei. And then with that, we are basically can just just win. After level 30, there is Paralysis as well. And you do get Binded on your top and bottom row on the final stage. So Chiffon, the Kazuna Rerecruit Chiffon, is actually really, really good for this fight. Because not only does she remove the Bind, but after level 30, she can remove the Paralysis as well. You want to bring Buggy, obviously. Buggy's like your point booster. Once start, things start to get a little bit more challenging, though, you do want to take him off. But nevertheless... He is going to be here to actually give us a lot more tickets. You get around the threshold, the five turns of threshold, which actually becomes six turns after level 30 as well. This particular stage, like this, this variant is easily like the most annoying out of the three. And when, we, when I was building the one team beats all, it, it did make it a little bit challenging to actually put this team together, that team together because of this particular variation. But as you guys will see, like 
This team does a lot of damage. It's going to be fine moving forward, and it should get you guys a lot of tickets for those assists. Let's move on to the one team beats all against the strength variation now. All right, so onto the tricky one now, the one team that beats all against strength. This particular variation, as I was saying, this was the hardest for me to put this particular team together, but thankfully, I actually have Nami and Robin. Not Nami, Robin. Robin and Jinbei. Now, Robin and Jinbei are great because they're an int character. They give me that second int orb. They give the two turns a special reverse on this particular stage, but as I've been rambling on every time I get to this team, you can replace them with um, Okiku and then just replace Bon Clay or even, like, like Buggy, I guess. I, I guess Buggy holds some sort of value, though, with his defense up removal. Uh, when that hits level 30. Um, but I guess you could just bring an in character that can remove defense up as well. But if if you don't have Bond Clay, as I mentioned, like a lot of people probably don't, you can easily just slide in an in character. Something like Nami Rob works well. But this stage is the most annoying when you get your two turns of special reverse and they lock your special reverse. I actually use my Nami Robin special here. But you don't need to. You can actually save it for the final stage. You have enough damage literally just with your friend Captain uh, Bond Clay and your friend Captain, your Captain Vivi. To just take this stage out without actually utilizing the Nami Robin special. And then that way you are just absolutely fine. You get the extra base stats on the final stage. If you have Nami Robin, be very happy. Because just getting that thousand base stat across the board, no matter what team you throw them on, it just it, it works like an absolute dream. Especially when Croc comes out. They are just such a good unit for Croc. Because they're the base stat booster and uh, Robin triggers the Croc um, uh, super typing as well. So, like, it all just works out super hunky-dory. But as you can see here, we have plenty of damage. And we can say goodbye to Mr. Bond Clay. But that's going to wrap up the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure to go to the belt the like button for me if you're new to the channel. Hit that big red subscribe button too. But, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, please remember to enjoy the rest of your day. As always, homies, I thank you guys for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Late!